Whether you are growing fine timothy hay to sell or grazing beef cattle on steep pasture, you want to obtain the optimum yield and quality forage for your operation. There are many factors which can affect forage yield and quality. In this video, we'll explore two such factors which may cause issues for Beaver County farms. These are soil fertility and weed management. The agronomy guide from Penn State Extension is a key informational tool to help you make management decisions on both soil fertility and weeds. The first step to improving forage yield and quality is to conduct soil tests. Soil testing enables you to know what nutrients are already available in the soil. Collect your samples and send them to a reputable lab for analysis. With the results, you can make informed decisions about lime and fertilizer application. Placing the right nutrients in the right amounts in the right place at the right time can optimize yields, minimize costs, and protect streams and other water resources from excess nutrient runoff. Contact the Conservation District for help in starting a soil testing program on your farm. There are many plants which are considered weeds, but a weed can be any plant growing where it is not wanted. Depending on the operation, one farmer's weed is another farmer's forage. Proper plant identification is a key step in solving weed issues, and the Conservation District can help with this identification. The best defense against weeds is a thick stand of healthy, desirable plants. Proper grazing management and hay harvesting practices go a long way to prevent weeds from becoming an issue. In this video, we will cover a few of the most common weeds found in our county. Milkweed is a common weed in forage crops. It is a great plant for monarch butterflies and other native pollinators, but it can be toxic to livestock. This makes it undesirable in forage crops. The key identifying features of milkweed include flower clusters ranging from white to pink and milky white sap in the stem. Mowing can help reduce the population of this plant in your forage fields. Dogbane is related to milkweed. The key identifying feature of this plant is the ruddy stems which are thinner than those of milkweed. Mowing can help to reduce this plant's population as well. Canada thistle is a challenging weed to control. It is a perennial weed and its key identification features include erect branching stems with purplish flowers on top. The spiny leaves alternate along the stem and have an oblong to lance shape with toothed edges. Mowing can stop Canada thistle from going to seed but this plant has a tremendous root system and can spread through creeping rhizomes. Use of herbicides may be the most practical tool for controlling this pest. Multiflora rose is a very problematic weed. Once recommended for conservation plantings, it is now obvious that this plant is a detrimental, non-native, invasive pest. We do have a few native wild roses in Pennsylvania so be sure to know the key features for identifying multiflora. Multiflora is a thorny perennial shrub. Fringed brackets at the base of each leaf stalk are a key identification feature. Also, this weed blooms from late May to early June, bearing clusters of small white flowers. Repeated mowing only weakens this plant and has limited effectiveness. Herbicides may be the most practical tool for controlling this weed. Ironweed is a great native plant for pollinators, but most farmers consider it a weed. The key identification features of this plant include clusters of purple flowers on stems which can grow 3 to 5 feet tall. Ironweed also has serrated spear-shaped leaves 4 to 8 inches in length. Control of this perennial plant can be achieved by mowing it before it goes to seed. Pokeweed can be a troublesome weed. It is moderately toxic and care should be taken when it is found in forage fields. It is a large weed with branching reddish stems. It bears purplish to black berries on clustered red stems. Horse nettle, a perennial weed, has egg-shaped leaves with wavy margins which grow to be 3 to 5 inches long. Also, there are sharp prickles on this plant and it has light orange berries. Horse nettle has a creeping rootstock. Managing forage for optimum yield and quality is an ongoing task. 
Soil testing and proper nutrient management is the first step in achieving well-balanced soil fertility. Accurate identification of weeds and other pests helps in making additional informed management decisions. The Conservation District can act as a key resource in helping farmers assess their forage fields for improved management strategies.